Hi everyone, it is November 10, 2018, so I want to thank my subscriber for linking to this video, which is on John X Army's channel. Is it John X Army? No, this is Jonathan Miller. I think, uh, well, maybe it's the same John. I don't think so. I believe that it's this John X Army. All right. I don't, I'm not interested in all of those comments. Oh, he's a shill. He's a disinformation agent. He's crazy. Not interested. I am interested in information. That is it. That is it. I don't promote people. I recommend channels. Um, but this is not about personality. It's about getting the information that is important. The information that you get regarding events that may take place, they may take place, they may not take place, but it's important to have the information. Okay, now, uh, John X Army, through his Patreon uh, account where there's a chat room, he got from somebody else an email sent by somebody in the Navy who is claiming that a coronal mass ejection CME is coming and it will be big and the grid will go down. I'll link below to the video and you can listen to it. But this is some of the email. The event that's coming is a what most would call a coronal mass ejection CME after geological records were discovered outside of Rome during a pre-Iraqi freedom operation. I was not on this mission. They discovered documents of sorts that laid out everything that is, has, and will happen since then and even before. These writings have been proven authentic by several methods, but also have led to the most massive movement of manpower, equipment, and logistical efforts in the history of our species. In a nutshell, what's happening is this. According to these documents, that inside of the intelligence community are beyond reproach. Our planet is about to be hit by a massive CME beyond our comprehension and ability to protect or defend against. The scale of this CME is told to be 10 times that of 1859 and 150 times that of 1989 Canada. It is going to start in approximately one week, according to these records, that the military is using as a tactical Bible of sorts, if not in one week, there is a repeat sequence of 36 days from now. I don't know what that means other than if it doesn't happen on or around the 13th, it'll happen on or around December 12th. That also means that it may happen twice. It could happen back to back, roughly a month in between events. I don't know how to get you to believe me. I just hope you'll see the sincerity or truth in my words. I've been in the Navy for a hell of a long time and son, I'm scared to death. Okay, so I don't know how to verify this. Coming from our intelligence agencies that are beyond reproach, sorry, now could they be putting out this information because they're going to cause a CME or an EMP and take down the grid, blaming it on this natural, though very rare, occurrence? Perhaps. It could happen. The reason why I'm putting this out is because it's a very short time from now. And I know there are a lot of people who have prepped and are ready as best they can be for 
this kind of an event. But our world has gone utterly insane, violent, nuts, evil. They are quite capable, and I say they, meaning our leaders, quote unquote, who are the puppets of the Rothschilds, of the Rockefellers, of those who are reshaping the world for their own fancy, making all of us slaves. They're capable of anything. Evil does not stop. And as we have seen, all of the agendas have been accelerating to a point where it's really overwhelming to try to keep in mind everything that's going on. Try to even get to everything that's going on. So you can listen to this video. Um, again, it is not about John X Army. It's about the information. So please don't. You know, I I'm so tired of people leaving these comments. This one's a show. This one's a disinformation agent. And then I ask for ev evidence and I get ignored. Though I don't know what's happening because I have responded to people and I don't get any response back. Any response back. I, I don't um, emails I respond to and I don't hear from the person. I I don't know what's going on. So but most people, they're, they heard something from someone else and they're passing along the gossip. We have a lot of people in our awake community who are needing to do that work necessary so that they can lift themselves up and get out of personality and get into principle and only... If it's the information that is important. For years we have been talking about that scenario. Why do you think they have not protected our grid? They have known our grid is our uh, electric grid. They have known it's vulnerable for about, I don't know, 20 years and they haven't done a thing to protect it. But all, you know, I, I do get an awful lot of comments from people who, you know, believe in um, there's a, I don't know, a second planet coming, Nibiru, all of this. Now, they can simulate a second sun for you. They can simulate what looks like a planet coming. They have so destroyed the natural processes with these uh, with this technology the continuous shooting of high frequency ejections into the ionosphere they have destroyed our ozone layer I've been reading I've seen articles on atmospheric collapse what they have been doing to our atmosphere, uh, to the ionosphere, to all natural processes. I could imagine that they have so screwed everything up that something, a major, major event could take place. We've seen the extremely low frequencies being set off in areas where they have earthquake swarms. So these people really don't care what they do as long as they don't have to suffer the consequences. We suffer the consequences. So um, I don't know if anything's going to be happening on the 12th, which is, well, in two days, or the 13th, I think it was November 13th and then December 12th. Well, that's three days from now. And if this guy from the Navy just put this information out, well, I'm sorry. Something's wrong with him. 
that he's been sitting on this information for a long time and decided to give you three days preparation for something taking place. I don't believe it. I don't disbelieve it. It's information that I will, you know, keep in the back of my mind, but I think it's information that you need to keep in the back of your mind. So, this is Zero Hour. God bless and for the love of all that's good. Well, maybe you had too many bottles of whiskey and you were incapable because you were drunk writing to allow people more time. See, the problem is, is that we have an awful lot of people who are too scared, you know, to be that whistleblower. And I've been saying for six years, the whistleblowers, you guys who know things, you need to be coming out. You know, we've got the CDC, and I'm sure a lot of people working at the CDC know full well that these vaccines are killing people, are very dangerous. They should all get together and come out in unison. Pilots, knowing that they are dropping aerosols into the atmosphere that are dangerous, toxic, they should all get together in unison, come out. There's power in numbers. So, um, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of people who have that kind of courage. So, there you go. The link is below.